Voices Voix brings together Canadians who are concerned by efforts of the federal government to silence those who oppose its policies. We have documented over 80 such cases. Scientific research and evidence are muzzled in Canada. Hear the story. In May of 2012, the government introduced the Omnibus Budget Bill C-38, and in that bill there was a lot of cuts, uh, funding cuts for science, including really important things like the Experimental Lakes area, and you know it was all packaged in this one bill without any debate or any chances for amendments, and this really got the scientific community really pissed off and so we decided to organize what we called the Death of Evidence Rally uh, which was a, a big rally that happened in, in Ottawa in the summer of 2012 and then there was so much support for the rally and after the rally that we decided to actually start a new organization focusing on these issues full-time called Evidence for Democracy. I had always been really interested in you know, not just science for its own purpose, but how science sh should influence policy and, you know, actually making policy that's based on the best available evidence. And so it was just really frustrating to see, you know, the cuts, the muzzling, and science and evidence just being disregarded in the policy process. For a lot of people, we used to think of Canada as, you know, a sort of smart, fact-based country, you know, not ideolo ideological. You know, I think when George W. Bush was in power in the U.S., we were kind of smug up here that, you know, oh, that wouldn't happen here, you know, we're too smart, we're not like that. Um, so it was really shocking to see all of these policies come in and what really feels like a disregard for science and evidence coming from our government. And, you know, as a young scientist who wants to have a career in science and specifically in environmental science, you know, it's really been a, a shift in the, in the mentality towards those, those fields. And certainly the, the view doesn't look very good for, for young scientists. You know, I've heard from a lot of them are, are moving to other countries to find work, for example. There's a lot of reasons to be concerned, you know, the most, the most fundamental is, in my mind, it's really an issue of our democracy, especially the case of government scientists being silenced and not able to speak out. You know, the having an informed public and allowing for, you know, engaged public debate, those are really the, the fundamentals of having a healthy democracy in my mind. So it's really concerning to me whenever you have, you know, a government trying to limit the amount of information that can get out to the public. Um, and then in, in the broader sense, we're actually seeing a loss in our capacity to do science in Canada. And that is, that is really alarming because, you know, the science is really crucial for, you know, keeping our air and water safe, keeping our food supply safe, new technologies, economic development, all of these things require uh, a strong and healthy public science in Canada. And, and we've really, we've seen that erode over the last few years.